Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Doug Curran and I'm Leslie Draffin. Today marks the 25th anniversary of a raid on the Branch Davidian complex outside Waco, which then sparked a 51 day standoff. Four ATF agents were killed in the initial raid, and today a ceremony honored their memories at the Texas Rangers Hall of Fame. Channel 6 News reporter Jasmine Caldwell is live at Mount Carmel, where the tragedy took place in 1993. Jasmine, you spoke with the brother of one agent killed in the raid. Well, yeah, that's right, Doug and Leslie. I spoke to the younger brother of Special Agent Todd McKean. He said this was his first time coming to Waco, and he was a little reserved about coming here today. That's because these are the images that comes to mind when Brad McKean thought of Waco. His brother Todd and three other special agents were killed after trying to execute federal warrants for David Koresh and the Branch Davidians at their compound at Mount Carmel. The, the Davidians had been alerted and when the agents arrived, the heavenly, heavily armed members were waiting in ambush as the agents got out of their vehicles. McKean said today's 25th anniversary ceremony was very touching, moving, and brought back a lot of sentimental memories. Uh, I knew Todd was in, in Waco on a special assignment. I wasn't aware of what the assignment was going to be, and I received a phone call from, from his wife, uh, Leslie, uh, early Sunday morning that, that said that, you know, that, that Todd had, had, had been one of the agents, you know, that had, that had been killed in Waco. And so, you know, from, from that time on, it really, uh, really set a lot of emotions in place and, you know, and, and contacting the rest of the family and, and having a lot of friends and law enforcement and even members of the ATF that, that reached out to us. The standoff between the Branch Davidians and federal agents ended on April 19th when the FBI launched another assault at which point a massive fire broke out killing 76 people, including the group's leader, David Koresh. Some say there's a lot of mistakes made, the government made during the raid 25 years ago. Now coming up tonight at 6, hear what McKean said. He hoped that the ATF agency learned from that day. Reporting live in McLennan County, Jasmine Caldwell, Channel 6 News. All right, thanks, Jasmine.